and Michelle fix it here. We just finished up at the Kisaki, um Japanese uh, steakhouse place. And we just saw an angry, angry Jeep because it was an angry Jeep, like it was a red Jeep, or it is a red Jeep, with extra anger, right? Here's the angry girl, but it's extra angry because it's, um, <laughs> because this driver headlight was out. So I let the guy know, like see, if you see something, you say something, you help your neighbor out, right? So at first I was like, hey, your Jeep is extra, extra angry. And he was like, oh, thank you. And I was like, no, really it is. Like it's angry because of its, dr its grill, but it's also angry because its headlights out. The, the driver one, just, just giving you a heads up. He's like, oh, okay, cool. And I like deflated his bubble a smidge, but then I let him know that his Jeepy Jeep was, was angry. Because, you know, you can choose to be angry and happy, or you can choose to be like neutral and, um, and call it content and sad. It's up to you. It's totally your choice. I choose to be angry or happy. That's it. Those are the two emotions you get. I don't like the other stuff. I get super uncomfy with it. That's me. I'm a little special cat. Um, I actually am a big special cat now. And I think husband cat approved of our bites. And and the and the the extra robot cat thing. I think he liked it. Just maybe. Maybe, maybe. And um, now I'm on my way to Georgetown so that I can check on laundry. And then I guess we'll work on the uh, the cat room, Patterson, and try to get her put together because she's kind of a mess. And I need an admin space because I have lots and lots of work to do because there's a crazy cat adventure going on. There's actually a lot of crazy cat adventures going on. And I don't really have any updates for some of my little stories. And I still don't know, like some of them, I might not put out because I don't know if people are gonna like try to switch me or not. I'm like, maybe this all started because of like some cuckoo crazy stuff or maybe it's all just been like a little game. A cat and mouse and cat and bear and ducks and I don't know, bunnies. Maybe there's a whole little crazy cat game that's gonna be coming. Maybe there's some safety games. Maybe there's some happy games. Maybe there's just like a lot of cool stuff that's going on. Maybe I'm just gonna start living my life like I'm living a country song or a good rap song. Not a mean one though. Like one where like you're in love and it's you against the world, but like you're you're happy and angry and you're okay. Because everyone has a genre that they listen to. Everyone has their own little code. And if you don't have a genre and you don't have a code and you're a little bit of everywhere, that's great. But you have to believe in something. Because if you're believing in something, then you're not believing in nothing. Because believing in nothing makes you feel really empty. And you can take that for what it's worth. You can do whatever you want to do with your life. I'm going to be here to give you guys pointers. And if you ask in the comments for advice, like, I still feel bad. Like, the guy that commented yesterday on the Mamaru video. I've been too busy. Like, I literally made the video an hour after he did his thing. So, like, I don't know. I guess I have to, like, hurry up and try to include, like, little tidbits on my videos and upload them to the channel and then, like, just put them on publish. But we are starting to get into, like, the areas where I started making notations. And I think that, like, once my life slows down a little bit, I'll maybe add some more, like, extra stuff into them and say, hey, you know, this is what this movie or this, this videography is all about. And, like, today's one was like, do you have a vlog? I'm like, I don't know what I have. I've got something. I've got a whole lot of something, and I'm 80 and 90% sure that my something's going to add up to something. So, you can play the crazy cat game with me, and we can see where it goes. Because, you know, you guys just, a lot of people just don't have big attention spans. And I've got a really big broad attention span. And I don't get stuck on these things. And like I was starting to feel a little self-conscious about like, I don't know, looking at my phone all the time and all this. But you know what I realized? One, I realized that husband cat's like totally trying to get an advantage point because he's not paying attention. So I had to scooch over so he wouldn't see him. Because like even me, he doesn't care about, you know, respecting other people's boundaries. He sets the boundaries. And like, he's just over there. And like, he kept moving a little bit closer. 
and then he's gonna get grumpy when he sees the video because he's like part of my face. Well, I can't watch out for everyone all the time. So if you see me in the police, I'm gonna have a little sticker or something that says smile, you're on camera, and I'm gonna respect boundaries, but if you get into my visibility when I'm recording, that's a you thing, that's not a me thing. I will definitely record if you decide to be a grumpy cat with me because I don't do that stuff. Or if you're doing something bad, I don't know. I might just say, hey, just say so you know, I'm recording. And like, they keep being grumpy, but I get proof of it. And that's just like a general guidance therapy. Because I have a video with, you know, the guy and the apartment and all that stuff. And I don't know if I'm going to put it out there or not. Because like, he's still kind of being a scaredy cat. Which I totally get his perspective. And you guys may or may not get that video. I don't know. I need comments. I need like, hey, I want you to do this. I need a bartering exchange of like, you have, I have some good ideas. How would I market these ideas? And hypothetical. Because maybe, you know, maybe I'm just a goo bird. Maybe I'm sure I help somebody else out. Maybe I have a grand plan. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of stuff that it could be. You guys are just gonna sit here and be along for the ride. Because I'm not gonna feel guilty or weird about recording because there's literally cameras all over this whole entire country. Probably other places too. Like, right now, it's all raining and heavy. I'm like, my windshield wipers can't keep up with it. It makes me think of that movie about the, the thinking eye thing. Because there was a guy, and there was a court case, and he spent like his whole life trying to get his idea back. And you know what? Maybe I just really don't care. As long as it gets to people that like it helps, that's cool with me. So I'll give you little snippets here and there. If I end up being a cuckoo bird and this channel has nothing to happen, but then people are like, hey, Michelle, can you help me? And be like, yeah, go on my channel. Catch up. I have some stuff going on. I have some little like social experiments. Maybe I know a little bit about medical. Maybe I'm just a cuckoo bird. Maybe this is all just for the, the trip place butterfly. Because like, it's good for her or them or him to know what's going on with their lives. Whatever it is, I'm pretty open-minded and I'm fairly intelligent. And so I can put two and two together and uh, not get to six, okay? And get to four. It's simple math, what I'm, what I'm talking about is simple mechanics. And a mechanic and a doctor got together and uh, they actually talked about their work. I'm pretty sure that they would end up getting to the same conclusion that I did. And like, if modern medicine wasn't treated like modern day witchcraft, uh, where it's like all secret and it's totally a boys club, and like, if you, only if you have like tons and tons of form of education. But, like, I could hear stuff on the radio. I'm not really like trying to get away from that with like even government jobs and stuff where it's like if you have the experience if you don't have the chance to pay for it, like supposedly we're supposed to be able to like throw ideas out there and like possibly get higher and all this stuff. Then we're talking I keep hearing because I listen to the radio. I don't do the serious serious or virus or whatever it's people call it. Like, I don't know. I'm just a plain game kind of girl, but I'm also not I'm actually pretty complex. <laughs> both medically and personality wise and I need the little things that you want to say. I've got a big family that's all over the place. So, you know, these are going to be little teasers. And if you guys find me and you want to know more, ask me stuff in the comments. As long as it's not going to do anything to mess me up, then I might answer it. And I'll try to make you guys little videos on the stuff. And I'm not going to do anything to throw myself under the bus. And uh, I'm just here to help. So don't treat me like I'm trying to hurt, okay? You guys are going to have to sit here for a little bit because this is part of the kind of bad, and I'm not going to reach up when I'm dealing with all this, like, eh, maybe cat, like, maybe tropical storm, cat one, hurricane stuff. I'm like, if you guys think there's stuff that I'm missing out on, then I'm going to put it in the comments and say, hey, crazy cat lady, maybe you should go investigate this. Because I'm just going to start living my life the way that I want to. It's going to be boiled down to my obligations, which, you know, know me first. And then uh, working on my boxes and uh, getting a little bit closer to figuring out all my stuff. Whatever happens, happens. And if I make people grumpy and mad and sad and all this other stuff, like, I, I can help you learn to regulate your emotions a little bit better. But you really got to be open about, you know, what your physical issues are, too. Because I think there's a whole bunch of reasons on physical issues and emotional issues being combined with one is dependent on the other or vice versa. Like maybe you don't really have an anger problem. Maybe you have like a body chemistry problem. Or maybe like something's just a little mixed up with you. And I don't mean that everybody's gonna end up perfect because nobody's perfect. But you know, I'm just on a crazy cat adventure. And I'm just a mommy cat that's looking for a kitty that found a kitty and is very 
pretty excited about it, Kitty. And only his whole, <laughs> there's only like, including myself, right now, until that missing kitty says otherwise, I'm gonna make sure that everybody's tight lips about it because only a crazy cat lady who's not gonna say a peep and a sissy is not gonna say a peep. Well, a sissy might try to say a peep. I don't know. And uh, the mommy and the husband cat. So if the husband cat says anything, or the crazy cat lady says anything, or the izzy cat says anything, I'm gonna be very, very grumpy. And I, uh, I get very, very mean because nobody's supposed to mess with my kittens ever. And if anybody tries to mess with my whole little experiment that I've got going on, okay, well you guys just keep falling over. That's just what's gonna happen. I might have to pull over because you guys are like, really starting to mess me up. I have to wait until it's safe to do so. Alright, there you go. Now you get the steering wheel. I get to see the map a little bit better. But yeah, I'm just a crazy cat. Playing some crazy cat games. And I'm working on stuff. And I'm tired of listening to everybody. Because everybody has an opinion on stuff. Just like bums. Everybody has a bum. Everybody has an opinion. So I'll ask for opinions. And I'll wait for people to give me their information. And I'll make sure that I get the best opinions from the best doctors that this country has to offer with uh, like some generalized things that I might be on to. And I'm gonna make sure that I get it in writing. I'm gonna be like, hey, random crazy cat question. Since you're like super good at your job, what would happen if this happened? I don't wanna get their pros and cons to it. And I wanna see how out of the box our medical, our medical care is, okay? Because, um, I don't know, seems like looking around, everybody's got a little bit of something going on. And uh, I might know a good chunk about what it is. And it might be a multifactorial problem, which everybody's gonna be like, yeah, no, duh, come on, we, we got that. No, 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 you don't have this because you guys aren't talking to each other. The people aren't talking to each other. The families aren't talking to each other. The doctors aren't talking to each other. Nobody's talking to each other. Husbands and wives aren't even talking to each other. And when husbands and wives even try to share their stuff, one side will share and the other side won't. And, you know, when you come up with, when you're like, hey, hypothetically, blah, 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 and then like stones get cast and that's a marriage, that's a problem because I keep seeing that a lot. It's like, oh, I want you to open up to me. I want you to tell me all your little dirty secrets, basically so I can use it as ammunition against you. And when you're put to the test on if you're gonna stand by your spouse, Biblically, legally, or just family-wise, as an extended family that's not, you know, part of the married family that you created. You want to throw your partner under the bus. You know what? That's not cool. That's how, like, you know, the D things happen. That's how families get broken up. And, like, you shouldn't be competing with your spouse. You should be trying to help your spouse. And if your spouse is a girl, a boy, a me, or no, it doesn't matter to me. As long as you're happy, and as long as you two are working together to conquer whatever your world is, go for it. Because that's what I'm working towards, are you? All right, well, I'm almost to the point of being able to uh, get off of this little thing, and then I'll be able to say bye to you guys. But you know what? Words of wisdom for this little miniature episode is, we need to start taking care of everyone. We need to start listening to everyone. We need to start putting pieces together. We need to make it where you know, if you don't have all the pieces, but you kind of know where you're going, start your project. Oh, you know what? This is going to be a 15 minute video. And if you don't have the fancy papers, but you have the fancy information because you have a big sexy brain, use your big sexy brain. Because the big sexy brains, they don't always need the fancy papers. Sometimes, sometimes they don't even get the fancy papers, even though they stay in school for a long, long time because fancy papers come with fancy bills and fancy debts. And sometimes, just sometimes, your best researchers out there are gonna be a mom. And you know why? Because life gave her what she always wanted. Even though she had two of the other ones that she always wanted, she always wanted her babies to be happy. And she doesn't prioritize girls over boys. But you know what? She thought she'd end up raising a damn, oh, can't say that, community guidelines. But they say it in country songs. She knew that when she finally had a little baby boy, she would make sure that he was going to end up being the perfect little gentleman. And so when life gave her one and then tried to take it right back again, she 
got really mad. And you know who does the best homework? Yeah, I do. Either a woman that's had her heart broken or a mom. I don't care who you are. I don't care where you stand. You have some type of maternal influence in your life. And you know what? You know and I know and they know that if something happens to one of their babies, whether it's a biological, adopted, whether it's someone that they consider to be their child, even if it's older, or even if they're older than them, it doesn't matter. A mommy will find a way to protect her baby. It goes through the whole entire species, all the different species, from the little buggies to, I don't know, the sperm whale. Hee hee, ha ha. Everybody wants to protect their babies. So you know what? Maybe, just maybe, in the midst of trying to make sure that a mommy saved her baby, maybe she found a way to help some people. Or maybe she's just a cuckoo bird. I don't know, bye. Oh man, I tried to cancel you guys out. It didn't work. Ah, okay. Well, Texas John, I sent you my YouTube channel just a second ago. I sent it to you before. I haven't seen any Texas John comments. So this is like a little reminder that maybe the Texas John should like, you know, say hi. And, and now I'm thinking about Megan from high school because there's a little Hyundai accent. I remember so many details of my life. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm a smart cat, maybe I'm not. I'm just gonna wait until you guys turn to the 17 minute, 17 minute video and watch this guy have this little box. Oh, it's a bag. So you guys start living your life like a country song or whatever your genre song is. Live like you're dying. Cause you know what? You could be, you never know. I'll see you guys later. See you next time. Bye.